Hello and welcome to this video. My name's Demo and welcome to this VMware uh, video. This is on, as you can see, and as you may uh, be able to read from the description, this is going to be, uh, well, this is on Win, uh, VMware workshop uh, workstation 14 player this is the non-commercial version as you can see there and uh, i'm not sure what if it displays any version of it uh just wait one moment oh yeah about vmware yeah uh it is uh vmware station uh workstation 14 player 14.1 uh sorry fourteen point one point one build uh seven five two eight one six seven uh it's as you see there it's an unlicensed version not for uh not for commercial use and yet and anyway right well this is a free to download uh player that you can basically uh use for your uh, VM, um, sorry, virtual machines. There's also virtual box, which I've got down here, as you see there. And uh, this actually is quite better than virtual box, as we, as we probably may see now. But for this video, and as you see in the description below, this is on um, Windows 98 SE version. So to create a virtual machine, we need to go to create new virtual machine, as it says there. Right, so what we need to do is we need to first find the ISO. Um, just give it a minute to bloody do. Come on, you. Ah, there we go. Right, we're not using that one. We're using a new one that I have got somewhere. Where is it? Documents, is it? Ah, yeah, there it is. Downloaded into documents anyway. So we're using that. Um, right. Uh, da, 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 we'll select it. Right. So uh, click next. Right. Um, we need to delete the last virtual machine. So where's the other one? Virtual machine uh, 98. We need to delete that. That was my previous attempts that didn't really work out very well. So click OK. Virtual machine SE because it's an SE version. Click next. Right. So we're going to go for the maximum amount of storage that you can do 98.8 gigabytes uh we need to uh you can split it into two multiple files into multiple files but we're just going to stick with a single disk click next right so we need to custom the hardware so where is it sugar we can't do it now right so we're going to go for 512 um ram one processor we need to virtualize the processor for intel and amd virtualize cpu performance counters uh yep that's all right that's okay you can bridge it with a physical connection but we're not going to do that here uh yep that's not bad yep yeah, that's linked into my headset as we see here raise a uh, razor carine or catering or whatever it's called and we raise a headset uh right so we can't do accelerated graphics 3d graphics because this version doesn't support it the version of windows should i say and then we click continue finish and it will bring up a warning saying that it right so now we need to exit turn 
the machine off because we need to edit it even more. Right. So we need to go on to uh we need to go on to settings and then we need to where's the hard drive hard drive. ah ah sorry set it it did set it last time as a c as an scsi hard drive but it set it as a uh, an id hard drive i just wanted to check you should always check if it set it into a different formatted hard drive so a connected hard drive because this does only own sorry this version of windows does only support ide uh well anything below i think it's xp supports only ide so windows 95 98 se windows 95 plus and things like that um i think even windows xp only supports uh, anyway so yes yeah, so that's okay so we can resume our installation right so now we need to click on that and boot from cd windows 98 setup we need to set up the hard drive first So wait for it to load up. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so we press enter there. We need to configure the uh, unallocated, uh, unallocated disk space. So do it there. Yes, we want to um, enable large disk format. Click that. Click enter and then it will go through the boot option again so we need to select uh, CD we need to run Windows 98 setup from CD um, right so now as you can see it's going to be formatting the hard drive so this may take a bit of time so while this is doing it i will skip ahead because really you don't really need to sit through this so i will skip ahead and see you all pretty uh, in a moment right uh yep as you can see I've just uh, put my uh, serial code in, so we need to click, uh, yep, we need to click finish, and this will be the last bit of the installation before we get to see the grandeur of uh, Windows 98. And uh, yeah, well, as I was saying, the, uh, the system wasn't very good. Uh, the previous, well, the one that I got with ME. Um, actually, ME wasn't very good anyway. No, it just crashed loads of times. Except I thought it was just mine. I thought it was just my copy. But since I've been at, at, in depth with Windows, sorry, with um, YouTube and all this social networking and everything that I found out, no, it's not just mine. It was the entire ME system anyway. Well, it was the NT system, really. Um, so, yeah, uh, but... <clears throat> so excuse me but yeah this this anyway brings back quite nostalgic memories i mean i remember playing um just using it as a game station just using it as just a 100 percent game station spent hours playing red alert uh what else did i play Unreal Tournament, that was another one. 
those are the two games that are still playing to this day. Uh, uh, Dungeon Keeper, there's another one that I still play. Loads of classic Windows 95, uh, 98, even DOS games. I mean, you know, you're talking Doom, you're talking... um, um, uh, loads of them, like Alien vs. Um, Alien, the original one, the DOS version of that. You know, I mean, those were the nostalgic times that you ended up um, looking towards, uh, and you look back so now. Uh, but as you can see now, it's it's hopefully booting up. Let's see if there's anything else that we need to do. Uh, I remember once I got an idea for reformatting, sorry, reorganising my whole Windows hard drive. Moved everything everywhere, even the Windows folder, which you can't do now. You could do then, but you can't do now. I mean, I don't think you can anyway. I've tried it. And uh, the the computer won't be able to boot, or couldn't boot up because it couldn't find its Windows folder. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun explaining that. Right. Uh, nope, it is not the 18th. Oh no, yeah, that is right. That's the year. 2018. Yes, that is the year. Yeah. Right, so. Uh, that's roughly the time now. That's my time zone. Yeah. Next. Apply, sorry. Oh, right, okay. I forgot to click OK then. Right, so it's setting up all the stuff uh it's when it gets up to the system configuration that's when it usually i get the problems i get yep see i don't know why it's doing that what the hell has gone wrong with this thing hmm Unless it's a system, unless it's a setting that right. Well, I shall be back once this uh, once this uh, finishes, um, and hopefully it will finish pretty soon. So I will be back very shy. Right. Um, it seems to be done now, so it's just restarting. Uh, there was a quite a few um, warning notices coming up, so. It's debatable whether this actually will, will will run up properly, but we shall see. Um, we've got to install the drive. Uh, I've got to see if all the drivers will work. For, um, you know, when when it loads up, right? Oh, we have the biz small screen okay Ooh. okay unknown driver device great thank you for watching this video why not subscribe for more